I'm sure she meant no offense. Boy, you're great stuff on deck. I'd show you be hell in a taxi cab. You know, tonight for the first time I understood why people speak so highly of Moonlight. She easy. When we get back to England and have to separate, I'm afraid I'll be carrying the old torch. Carrying a torch? Oh, you've been hearing that nonsense about the London fogs. No. <laughs> that means I'll be miserable without you. Does it? Carrying a torch? How picturesque. Evie, if things worked out, I would, I mean, would you... Would you want to get together? Get together? You mean become engaged? Married? That could do for a beginning. Well, I, I must admit, this comes as something of a shock. I'd never pictured you as the one man type before. Neither had I. Until now. But at least 20 men a year propose to you. Bankers and movie stars and, and big politicians. Not one of them stirs my voice. I like a man in class. And dignity. And so often. It's getting late. And while I wait, my poor heart aches on. Unless our, heart, our hearts 
from dress to day. Take heaven. No peace lies in the future which is not hidden in this present moment. Take peace. The world is but a bloom of shadow. Behind it, yet within our reach, is joy. Take joy. Life is so full of meaning, purpose, full of beauty. You will find that earth may conceal your heaven. Courage then to take it, that is all. And so, my friends, with profound esteem, I greet you with this prayer, that now and forever the shadows break and the day becomes anew. <laughs> and wonder in my artless Japanese way why it is that I am so much more attractive than anybody else in the world. <laughs> <gasps> Can this be vanity? No. Nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness. I am a child of nature and take after my mother. <laughs> Sun whose rays are all ablaze with ever living glory does not deny his majesty, scorns to tell a story. He won't exclaim, I blush for shame, so kindly be indulgent. But peace and walls and fiery gold, he glories all at Observe his flame, the plant. 
ascertain the moon's celestial highness. There's not a trace upon her face of dividends or shyness. She borrows light that through the night's man kind we all acclaim her. And truth to tell, she lights up well, so I for one don't blame her. with decapitation and, well, <laughs> married men never flirt. Oh, right. I quite forgot that. Well, I suppose I may take it that my dream of happiness is at an end. <gasps> darling, darling, I don't want to appear selfish. I love you with all my heart. I don't suppose I will ever love anybody else half as much. But when I agreed to marry you, my own, I had no idea that, that in a month I would have to be buried alive. Well, nor I. This is the first time I've heard of it. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It does make a difference, of course. You see, burial alive, it's such a stuffy death. I, I call it a beast of a death. It makes a difference. You see my difficulty, don't you? Yes, and I see my own. If I insist on your carrying out your promise, I doom you to a hideous death. If I release you, you marry Coco at once. Here's how you do, if I marry you. Oh, and the time has come to perish, then the maiden whom you cherish must be slaughtered too. Here's how de do, here's how de do. Here's a pretty mess, in a month or less. I must die without a wedding, let the bitter tears I'm shedding wither my distress. Here's a pretty mess, here's a pretty mess. Here's state of things, to her life she clings. Matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion. Burial it brings. Here's state of things, here's state of things. With a passion that's intense, I worship and adore. But the laws of common sense we often to ignore. If what he says is true, tis dad to marry you. Here's a pretty state of things, here's a pretty howdy-do. Here's a pretty state of things, a pretty state of things. Here's a howdy-do, here's a howdy-do. For if what he says is true, I cannot, cannot marry you. Here's a pretty, pretty state of things. Here's a pretty howdy-do. 